Jen Hyman, CEO of Rent the Runway, joining us now for what is a push for new subscribers or indeed is it a push to keep the subscriber base you've already got addicted? This is really about actually offering more value to the customers that we already have. We've increased all of our subscription plans. All of our subscribers are going to get 25% more value for the same price. And what that effectively means is they can use Rent the Runway even more in their day-to-day -day life. And really, this can become a ubiquitous part of how they get dressed as a result. Jen, I, I wanted to do some research going into this interview. And I, I wanted to talk to your user base. So I talked to my wife who is, is a religious user of Rent the Runway on a weekly basis. And she pointed out the changes you've made, but she actually raised a really interesting question about technology, which is the app yes. and how you make items more discoverable. And she actually wants to know also about things like artificial intelligence, how you're able to choose this additional basket of items that you can go for. Yeah. Well, we have a unique business model in that if you're a great e-commerce retailer, maybe your customers come to you once or twice a year and they buy one or two units a year. Our customers, on average, are picking over 100 items per year from us. So the way that they browse the experience, the way they find and discover inventory on our platform has to be even easier, even more magical than the best in e-commerce. And we are investing a huge amount this year in enhancing our user experience, in making the app easier to use, and finding ways for customers to search for inventory as diverse as, you know, your wife's 70s party this weekend, to right. going to work, to going on a vacation. Don't reveal my, my social plans. <laughs> um, look, it's International Women's Day. We're, we're so pleased to have you on the program. This is... is it, principally targeted at a female audience, right? How much of a premium do you think that is for you guys? How, how hard is it to resist the urge to branch out into to male menswear as well? We've just scratched the surface of what this business is going to be. You know, if you think about the first decade of Run the Runway, we had to convince women that wearing clothes that other women had worn before was cool, aspirational, smart. Now that secondhand is really a part of how we all get dressed, the tailwinds for our business have never been stronger. And the other tailwind here is that women need and want more variety in their wardrobe than ever before because of social media, because we're presenting ourselves to the world every single day via TikTok, via Instagram. Mm. And this is a more affordable and more sustainable way to get that variety in your wardrobe. And yet, Jen, there's more competition. I think in Newly, I think over in the UK, Selfridge is doing something similar. There's a whole host suddenly popping up. Are you worried about that competition? I love competition because it means it's a real market. It means all that Rent the Runway has to be is the best out there. And we have the most premium assortment. We have the very best designer brands on our platform. We are investing an enormous amount into our customer experience to make finding and browsing the inventory even easier. And I think that it really proves out this is a real market now, as opposed to just an idea that we had five, six years ago when we launched subscription. And then when you went public, ringing that bell, taking your daughters along, that amazing anecdote that your then daughter thought that only women could run businesses and you having to painfully pop that bubble that you'd managed to sort of give to her in that way. When you're talking to your daughter, when you're thinking about this business for the longevity, it's about profitability too. Is that within sight? How do you get there when you're offering things more freely? Yeah, we've made financial transformation in the business over the last few years. We've driven our business to a gross margin above 40%, inclusive of all the cost of our inventory, all the cost of our fulfillment. We've restructured our debt. We've conducted a restructuring. And this is the year that we're going to see significant improvement to our cash burn. And the way that we get to profitability is by growing. For every additional dollar of growth that we deliver this year, 40 cents goes to the bottom line. So we're really excited to grow the business. We're really excited to bring the business to profitability. And back to my daughter, Aurora, I work so hard at what I do because I want her concept of Rent the Runway. She thinks Rent the Runway means girls run the world. And I want her to live in a world where that can be more true than it is right now. Jen, to that point, you know, parent of daughters as we both are, why are we not seeing more women run the world in that respect? Why are we not seeing more companies being born that are led by females who are getting the right amount of VC dollars, because at the moment I'm looking at a 2% cap, it would seem, being allocated to diverse founders. Yeah, it's all about the money. And it's 
all about the money at later stages. So there's a good amount of dollars going to women at the seed phase. There's $500,000 checks, million dollar checks being written. But we all know that the more money you're able to raise, the higher your probability of success, the better talent you can hire, the more mistakes you can make. So it's really about funding women who are further in their trajectory of being entrepreneurs. It's obviously about mentoring those women and having some of the most successful male CEOs um, mentor female CEOs and kind of teach them how do they scale their leadership. I've been lucky to be mentored by some of the best CEOs out there who I continue to learn from. And I think it's a combination of money and mentorship that'll get more women into positions of power.